Hello animators! In this tutorial, I'll show how to place the bones in a bone layer to prepare for animation and manipulation. First, for illustration purposes, I'll draw a quick green guy using the freehand pencil tool, then filling it in with green. Now this could be pretty much any shape, but I'm going to try to keep it fairly simple. Okay, now it's time to create a bone layer. By selecting New Layer icon in the Layer section near the lower right, then Bone from the drop-down. I'll name the layer Bones, and then I'm going to drag the Green Man layer into the Bone layer. Now it's time to add the bones. Highlighting the Bone layer, go to the Bone toolbar to the left of the screen, and select the bone icon with a plus on it to add bones. It's important to know the order in which the bones go. The shape will bend in an unexpected sort of odd way if the order isn't correct. What happens is the first bone drawn will be the parent to the next bone that follows it, meaning the following bone will be pivoting off of the parent bone. In the case of this little guy, I'll put the first bone in the hip area. The next bone will be the thigh bone, followed by the shin, and then the foot. After that, I'll need to do the other leg, but I need to make sure the parent to the thigh bone is not the foot bone that's highlighted in red. So, we need to go to the Bone Select tool and choose the appropriate parent bone, which will be the one that's in the hip area. Then complete the leg. Now, because I want the character to appear to bend at the waist, I'm going to place the next bone above the waist a bit in the chest area. The parent for this bone, I don't want to forget to select, should be the one in the hip area. So I will choose that with the bone select tool. Now because the chest bone is already highlighted in red, I can go ahead and draw the bones in for one of the arms. So I'm going to do the upper arm, the lower arm, and then the hand. After that, I'm going to choose the bone select tool, select the bone that's in the chest, and then go on and do the other arm. When that's done, I can go ahead and add the neck and the head bones, but I want to make sure to pivot those off of the chest bone as well. Now a quick test to see if the bones are parented correctly. Go to the reparent bone icon in the bone toolbar and click on that. You should see some red arrows pointing from each child bone to its parent bone. If you see that one isn't parented correctly, first go to the select bone icon, click that, and then choose the bone that needs to be reparented. Then click on the reparent bone icon and choose the bone that should be the parent. And you should see the arrow change. Okay, that's about it for the first part of the tutorial. In part two, I'll show you how to bind these bones to the green guy by selecting points and binding it to the bone layer. So, that's part two. Thanks for watching and stay tuned!